powerful gospel <laughs> encounter Jesus is a story of deeply personal intimate liberating human connection between Jesus and the woman Samaritan it is a model for us of the Christ connection. It's not just there and then. That same connection is available to each of us as we hear his word this morning. It is liberating and life-giving. And each of us is invited personally to experience this connection with Jesus. Now, this story, the scholars tell us, was probably a story of the Jesus of faith. It makes place in many contexts. It takes place in the Eucharist in which we've come, in the personal encounter. Our faith, the faith takes place through our Eucharist nature and the various situations in our life which are called actual grace, which is the action of the Holy Spirit working individually in my life. The key is you and the Christ of faith. This appears a door in which the reign of God's love takes place. It is a well gushing with water that springs up to eternal life. I'm in encounter with Jesus in my circumstances in which I find myself in my life. Think of the complicated intimate, interpersonal situation of the woman at the well. She had five husbands. Think of your situation. Are you married? Are you single? You have family? You live in Colombia? <laughs> we think we are exceptions to that truth that it somehow doesn't fit my particular circumstances. Wrong, wrong, wrong. There is absolutely no circumstance in which Jesus does not say, get up, do not be afraid, and follow me. I am invited to a healing encounter with Christ. Would you like to share that with me? I am invited to a healing encounter with Christ. Now this encounter that you have with Christ frees you. Jesus is appro approaches without judgment and has no care about the prevailing consciousness in which we all live, which makes us crazy. <laughs> uh, she's a woman, she couldn't talk, and she was one of those heretic Samaritans. Well, that's also true with all of us. The fact is that one size does not fit all. What fits is the encounter with Christ, which is unique for you. And connect with living water by in, in touch with life as I really experience it. Then the scriptures, sacraments, and persons who have shared this spiritual experience, living authentically and trusting in the presence of the milieu in which I live, move, and have my being. I live within the kingdom of God. 
the reign of love. This makes all the difference. The amazing thing is the diversity of those that walk on this path. They achieve a commonality of understanding. And we've got some great examples of this uh, history. Um, Thomas Merton, Suzuki, Gandhi, the Dalai Lama, you know, many people, uh, religious people, have had this deep spiritual encounter with Christ. This living water fills me from frees me from tyranny and being irrelevant. It is a contemplative path for spiritual truth. So if you'd like to say after me, my encounter with Christ frees me. My encounter with Jesus Christ frees me. So this encounter finds my deepest hunger and thirst. What a beautiful metaphor, life-giving water. You know, we, each of us, is 90% water. We can become weak when we don't have water. Being a sp spiritual in nature uh, in which our consciousness is actually what it is, is like a, a fish saying, uh, where's the ocean? <laughs> it's all right here. <laughs> we just haven't opened our eyes to it. To deny the spirit is a problem that we keep looking for this water in the wrong places. We encounter Jesus and Mary and is moved from the superficial to the deep. This kind of encounter actually changes how I see myself. One sees and new eyes, uh, possibilities open. I couldn't even dream that they were present for me. My life is turned upside down, even as the woman at the well. Jesus' unconditional love and acceptance breaks down the barriers and opens my mind to realize that God is love, that God's love is bigger than I could even imagine. This encounter with Christ of faith is a, what I, we like to call a game changer. It does mean that there is a basis of radical optimism regarding my life, which in terms gives me the power of courage. Encountering the Christ of faith is the ultimate act of courage in the face of the problems of life. It's not a denial that things, but the ability to continue the struggle and believe that, that no person, place, thing, situation, sin, disease is bigger than the reign of God's love. And that in the long term, the kingdom of God will prevail. This faith is a transformational power. It does saving words that leap up to eternal life. Now, Life does not mean that bad things aren't going to happen. They do, and they have. Uh, this last week, my electricity was off for five days. <laughs> but those things are not who I am. Because of this water leaping up to the eternal life, bad things do happen, but are simply, they're not the end of the story. If you'd like to say with me, my encounter with Jesus transforms every aspect for the better. My encounter with Jesus transforms every aspect of life for the better. 
this encounter actually shakes my being to the core. This is not just happy talk. It's about an actual experience. What in the crowd said, after this encounter, we'll, we will be able to say, no longer does my faith depend upon this story. I have experienced myself and I know that Christ is really the savior of the world. We will experience that Christ is really the savior of my world.